Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video, and um, this is going to be a two star attempt on a Town Hall 11, so it should be an interesting attack. Uh, typically, I don't record these close uh, attacks from these close wars, but I'm going to anyway, and the reasoning for this is because my iPad is just not reliable right now. It's been lagging a lot, so I don't feel like I can attack on it. Because of that, I'm attacking on my phone, and uh, I can record my phone unlike my iPad, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and record it. Might as well. I'm doing the attack on my phone anyway, so I thought I'd record it for you guys. Um, but this is a potluck that Genesis is doing so uh, yeah I mean we're, we're back on the scene to a certain extent obviously not in CWL but we're going to uh, be trying to get into some more competitive wars you guys will see how the war is going as soon as I go in game but for right now I'm in you doodle to draw this out so um, one more thing I want to add before I draw out the plan is I am doing uh, the Q&A video finally. I solicited questions about a week ago, and I'm going to be putting those together, answering them in a video that should be coming out tomorrow. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but should have some great content actually between this war and the CWL war Immoral Thieves is in against North Remembers. Two very good wars to provide content over the next few days. Uh, so that being said, let's get right into the plan. Uh, first things first, going to drop down some quakes right here. Uh, just open up that area, both sets of walls there, um, drop them right on the corner of that air defense. First thing I do so I can zoom in, you know, make sure it gets done. Uh, from there, just going to get some percentage. So try to fit an archer here. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. You can't really see at the top here, but I'm going to have a minion uh, for there and an archer for an army camp up there. And then I should be able to fit some minions right here. Um, I think I have one extra minion in case something pops up. Um, because people like putting traps, you know, to guard buildings and put Teslas and stuff. So who knows where everything on this base is. Uh, it is a fresh hit, but I guess we'll find out as we go. From there, I'm going to drop down my baby dragon right here. Uh, quickly drop my queen and five healers, and I'll probably have to use a rage right away. Um, so I'm go ahead and rage her up. I'm not going to try to be too tricky. Uh, I think the rage is, um, I'll settle for using it because uh, the expo might come in range anyway, so it's not worth trying to do a giant trick or something. Just going to go ahead and use the rage uh, right away on the queen. Uh, the hope is that the baby dragon, uh, it will take out that army camp and then hopefully come in here, take out the, uh, the cannon and then possibly even the mortar. The mortar is a little bit concerning for pathing because I want my queen to kind of step up, uh, take out these buildings like this and head down this way. Um, the mortar might be an issue, but I think if I drop my queen uh, right on the um, right on the corner here, she should be able to just kind of step up, take out this area, and continue this way. I think it's going to work out. I'm a little bit concerned, but it would help if the baby dragon got as deep into uh, the base as to take out that mortar. The expo should be the only defense on it, but there might be traps. Uh, there's also that wizard tower, I guess, too, so who knows how much it'll get taken out. We'll see about that. But assuming my queen goes south, um, not like literally goes south, not like not like the, the bad kind of south, uh, she, <laughs> she should uh, come down here, and I'll have another rage for her as she turns the corner. Um, the healers will be out of range of the air defense um, after scouting. That looks like that'll be the case. As the queen uh, comes around the corner and I drop the rage, I'll kind of take my eye off her, drop a golem, wizard, wizard, wall breakers right here, um, king and CC of bowlers. Come in here, uh, take out some of these buildings, take out the king, just get those kind of important uh, trash buildings taken out as well. That's another side of the funnel, so I'm doing two sides of the funnel. The queen, um, if everything goes right, should get this area. Uh, the kill or the king and the bowlers get that area. Then I send the Valks right up the gut here. Uh, they should beat through the wall if I drop them right. I have like 13 of them, so a pretty solid number. I have a rage for right here. And then my last spell is going to be a freeze. And I'm going to try to freeze the CC troops, the queen, and the inferno. The eagle isn't as big of a deal to freeze because the Valks should be within that little radius around it like that where the, it can't target them. Um, so I shouldn't have to worry about freezing the eagle, assuming the Valks actually get into that middle compartment 
which hopefully will be the case. And then if everything else is frozen, that should buy them enough time to take out the town hall without being aggroed by the queen or the CC troops or anything like that. So that's the plan. Three rages, a freeze. I'm not bringing any poison spells. That's how I have the room uh, to bring the, the three qu quakes of my own and the one quake in the CC. So a little bit of a risk, but I'm interested to see how this one's going to turn out. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hop into Clash of Clans now, I think. Uh, I went through everything. I've been planning for a substantial amount of time, you know, trying to make sure I had the right plan. And I think it, it should work out if everything uh, goes, if every part of the plan goes how I'm planning it to go, it should all come together to make a two star and maybe even a solid percentage at that. So uh, make sure I have everything. Got the four quakes, the uh, freeze, the three rages, the king, and the queen, bowlers, uh, golem, valks. Everything looking pretty good. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. It is kind of late, so I actually have a lot of people on. Um, awesome to see. A lot of people still active in Genesis. Um, not much has changed. It's awesome to see. I'm not going to show that, but um, I'm sure it's going to be a three star. Good luck tonight, right? It's actually, we'll hop in. Why not? You know, not like this is uh, that strict of an attack. We can see the beginning at least. And now that I hopped in, I guess we're going to have to see the whole thing. Um, oh, well. Kind of a double live attack for you guys uh, with Night Riders here. I just could not show it. I mean, it's very low-hanging fruit because sometimes I have to wait like 10, 15, 20 minutes to find a live attack when I record live attack videos. So it is pretty low-hanging fruit. Might as well. Uh, the bowlers do go in the base. I thought they might uh, stray on him for a second, but they do go in the base. So everything working out pretty well. You know, maybe I can even put double live attack in the title. Um, that wouldn't be false advertising because technically it is. Um, just not two of my live attacks. It's one of someone else's. I don't know what I'll title this video. It might be regular live attack. It might have something extra because I'm showing this. But this one looking solid. He has the two heels and another uh, six hogs left to deploy. The queen's still up. The bowlers are up. This one, unless anything too major happens, should be a three. It would definitely help to have a poison here um, and a Tesla farm popping. So quite a bit of damage all coming at those hogs. That's what the base builder obviously intended. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be... Uh, I mean, he has two golems, and it looks like one of those golems is pretty much at full health. The hogs should peter out here. I don't think they'll get that cannon, or maybe they will. Nope, the spring trap. Um, as long as the queen stays behind the golems, she should be fine. Uh, can that cannon reach the queen is the question. I don't think it can. Uh, the queen should take out the skellies. He has wizards coming around for cleanup. Time shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, this one's going to be, might be a little bit close. Uh, the queen will take out the king. It's just a matter of where she goes after that. Uh, she's going through the wall. Come on, archers, get out in front. Uh, yeah, she's going to be targeted and possibly taken out here. This one, come on, queen, step up and get that cannon. Uh, no, no, she's not going to get that. <clears throat> this one's going to be close. He has the wizards. One of the golems should break apart, which help, should help get it through the wall. Uh, the mortars are going to be distracted. There's no other defenses I can see that are going to be an issue for either of those wizards. Uh, everything's taken out on this base as far as the corners go. Come on, golem, pop. Uh, giant bomb, okay. An archer looks like it triggered it, so the wizards are going to be fine. They're the main deal here. Um, is that golem going to get through the wall in time? I think it will. So even still, the wizards are coming around. This one's going to be close. I think he has it. Hold your breath for the closing on this one. Um, I'm not sure what, if he's talking about the attack or not. Uh, come on. I think he's got it. Yep, this is a three-star. Uh, nice. Nice. Nice attack to uh, Night Riders. There you go, guys. Double live attack, it looks like. Let's see if we can be two for two. Um, before I hop, all right, I'll hop in uh, just a moment. Uh, make sure I have the plan. Uh, one more time, got the quakes, got the little troops around here, got the um, the queen, or the baby dragon, then the queen, her healers, let her walk, uh, golem king, bowlers, all that stuff, and then the valks up the gut. All right. As you can tell, I'm a little bit nervous, uh, but I'm going to do my best. I might not be talking that much, but let's go ahead and get into this and see if we can pull off the three-star uh, in this live attack video. Okay. Here we go. Let's get these quakes ready. Perfect. 
Archer, Archer. That air sweeper is gonna have to contend with that. Okay, um, baby dragon. That's too bad. The baby dragon went the wrong way. All right, there's the rage. Come on. Oh, I don't like the queen. Ah, uh, come on, go south, go south, go south. Ah. Dang, all right. Improv, maybe. Well, where's she gonna go after this? That's not good. Should I try to adapt this plan? I've already quaked open. I can't afford to try to change what I'm doing. All right, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna have to adapt on the fly. All right, let the queen keep going. I have one more rage for her. She's gonna deal with the CC troops. I gotta get started at the bottom here. Okay. That sucked. Tried to adapt. Yeah. That was a stupid rage on the queen. Maybe get the one star here. Come on, get there, get that builder's hut. Ah, 49%, uh, no stars. Ah, man, that hurt. All right, um, yeah, I know. Went the wrong way. All right, let's talk through this, guys. Uh, wasn't the best attack, obviously, but I think the plan was good. It's just, I'll actually, I'll point it out as it happens. It's kind of hard to describe as far as the funneling goes, but I quake. Um, dropped down the archers, dropped down the minions, everything uh, went kind of to plan. The minions, I don't know, for some reason I couldn't get it on that building. And in hindsight, that actually probably would have gotten me the, well actually it wouldn't have because the wizard took that out anyway. So I don't know, that doesn't matter as much. The point is I didn't get the town hall, that was the main problem. Uh, queen goes down and right here is I dropped her too low down because watch this. Uh, you'll see she takes out right there. That builder's hat was needed to pull her back up. I needed her to target this archer tower first and then and then step over and target this builder's hat because as you watch the progression then she goes for this elixir storage both those buildings the builder's hut and the elixir pump they should have been uh left up she should have taken out this archer tower first then gone for those buildings and i think because look how look she was right about this wall when she was taking those out maybe like around here now she's over here so if she could have been pulled back a little bit more by taking these out after that archer tower she probably would have continued south but because the archer tower was the last thing she took out the next closest was that mortar and i think i dropped the baby dragon uh to uh, low down on this army camp, so it went towards the, it went in the wrong direction. Hit a seeking air mine, didn't take out the mortar. Not that it probably would have anyway, but uh, queen hurt me. Um, yeah, I, I like the plan too. I think it was good. It just uh, maybe drop even start the queen up here and see if she can just completely you know take out this cannon and walk around like this. I was actually thinking about doing that, but it's a little longer and still the you know it's not great. She could target a wall at some point because the queen has been known to do that. So at this point I was my plan was this. Okay, I'm thinking and I wasn't talking out loud really, but I'm thinking maybe I can send in uh my king and my golems and everything or my golem, my king, my bowlers start to take out this area, send the Valks in and kind of hope they just go off in that direction. In hindsight, I probably should just continue with the plan and 
you know, drop the king in the bowlers up here, drop the Valks down here, um, because what ended up happening was the Valks just didn't go towards the uh, the town hall. So uh, you can't get the town hall if the Valks don't target it. So anyway, the wall breakers kind of failed anyway, so things are a little bit slow there. The king reroutes, everything else gets hung out to dry. A lot of damage coming. There is that hole in the wall, so I guess... Um, that would have probably drawn the Valks away. So I did need to somehow try to uh, get the Valks to ignore that. I'm not sure exactly what the plan should have been. Maybe it was a lost cause once the queen went the wrong way. I don't know. I was actually thinking about um, as my queen was walking around. And by the way, I think I wasted a rage on her because she was being targeted by an Inferno Tower. So that was kind of a waste. But by the way, as um, the, qu the queen was starting to walk this direction, I was actually thinking, okay, can I just do the same plan on the other side of the base? But then I realized, okay, I've already dropped my earthquake spells, and I, I think I could. I could have replicated the plan um, on the opposite side of the base because the queen still created the funnel. She still took out these buildings. The king could have gone in here and done it. Um, percentage might have been a little bit iffy, but I might have had a chance. So maybe I should have held off on those quakes. I mean, it's always good to get them down early, but maybe it was a good. It would have been a good idea to wait and just you know have that as an alternative. That would have been some pretty tricky planning, but um, <laughs> hindsight's twenty twenty. Tough attack, forty nine percent. Not that close to getting the town hall, but had the queen uh, not had that same progression of of targeting, I think she might have gone the right direction, and that could have made a huge difference. Um, so. It sucks, but I guess we're one for one technically. I didn't completely let you guys down. We did have one uh, successful attack. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the war while we're here. Um, you can see we were starting to have some of our lowest Town Hall 9s. Um, let me go down here. Uh, two star their top 10s. Those are you know probably not going to be uh, attempted for three stars. So might as well get those guys two starred. Easy stars by our Town Hall 9s. These three are going to be our targets. I'm assuming we're going to do mainly dip attacks. We have four attacks. Um... So, you know, we have, a, we have a little bit to spare. We can have one of these bases attack twice. Hopefully our 11s come through, take out these bases. We have our 10s to dip if we need to, which might be the case. We have our 10s to go up top and try to help me out and try to get some of the two stars, uh, possibly using my plan. And uh, you can see it's pretty much tied up. Um, I think they're doing a little bit better on three stars and uh, the stars might not reflect that, the aggregate at the top there. But it's still pretty close regardless. 24-23, uh, both have 44 stars. Should be a good war. You guys should see some kind of conclusion to this, as well as some action from uh, North Remembers versus Immoral Thieves. I believe that's the war that's going on uh, in on my other account that I'm in Immoral Thieves with. So be looking forward to that. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I should have a Q&A and some more content coming out over the next few days. So look forward to that, and I'll see you guys then. Bisect the trend out.